this tutorial is rated as basic. I am going to show you how to uh, download and install a program from the internet. Here I am in Windows Vista Premium. I'm only recording part of my screen here. Um, first you will go to Internet Explorer. install AOL Instant Messenger, so I will do a quick search for that. And here it is, the first link. So I'll click on that. And it should, and it'll direct me to their main page here. And AOL Instant Messenger 6, install now. I will click on that to uh, start my download. And I have three choices. I can either cancel, which will cancel this whole download, and I would have to start from the beginning. Um, I can run this, which it will, as soon as it's done downloading, it'll open up the installation file right away, which this file, in this case, is install underscore aim.exe. Or I could save it to um, a file somewhere on my computer so that I could either transfer it to another computer to install it there or I could install it at a later time. Well, I'm going to just hit run because I want to install it right away. Uh, so in the meantime, it will be uh, downloading the file. And I will actually pause this recording until it reaches uh, the end of the progress bar. Uh, before I started the download uh, in Windows Vista, um, it is asking me for permission to continue with this AOL program. Um, and the reason why this pops up is to help prevent uh, from pro programs being installed that you don't want, such as like a virus or, or spyware or something like that. Uh, in this case, I do want to allow it, so I'll hit continue. And uh, it downloaded already here and a dialog box popped up and it says it's preparing for installation. And now the user agreement has uh, popped up here and these are the, the terms that you must agree to uh, to be able to install this program. It usually says that AOL is not liable for certain things. Um, uh, just a lot of, of legal terminology. Uh, but I will agree. And uh, for AOL, it asks me uh, what if I would like to do the recommended installation, which includes the AOL toolbar, um, making AOL my home page, and it uses AOL as my main search engine, um, neither of which I would like to do. So I'm going to click Custom, and I'm going to uncheck these options, um, just so that I just install AOL, and that's it, uh, the AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, and I'll click Next. And now it is installing AIM, as you can see by the progress bar. Um, I will pause until the progress bar has reached 100, or near 100. Okay, after resuming recording, uh, the AOL install reached 100%, and it popped up this new dialog box. It asks me if I want to install AOL Tunes or install QQ Games, neither of which I would like to do, so I will hit Next. Um, and then it confirms that I have installed it. So, uh, two options. I can either close this dialog box and open AOL at a later time, or if I hit launch, it'll, it'll open AOL Instant Messenger uh, on the spot. So I will hit launch to test to make sure it's installed. And AOL Instant Messenger did uh, open up, and here I can enter my screen name uh, and password if I have one. Uh, and I can log in. Um, otherwise, if you don't have one for AOL particularly, you can click on Get a Screen Name, and then it'll step you through setting up a screen name so that you can talk online with other people who have AOL and who are signed in. Um, and then just a, a note uh, for uh, computer beginners that uh, AOL Instant Messenger is something completely separate from your AOL Internet service. If you are paying AOL um, every month, or every so often for internet service that uh, 
that is something separate from AOL, so from AOL Instant Messenger. So you can uninstall or reinstall AOL Instant Messenger as much as you would like, and uh, nothing will happen to your actual internet service. Uh, it's just a separate free uh, instant messaging program to talk online with other people. Um, and that is all. That concludes the basic tutorial for how to download and install a program.